All right guys, so far we have seen the different ways a parent component can communicate with the child component. In this video, let's take a look at how a child component can communicate back with the parent component. I want to start off fresh, so I created a new project called Parent Demo. To save us some time, I also generated a new child component and included the selector in the parent component template exactly like the child demo project. So we have the parent component HTML that says parent component and has the child component nested inside. The corresponding parent component class, the child component template that says child component and its corresponding class. If you run the application, you can see that the output is as expected. A heading for parent component and one for child component. When you build medium to large Angular applications, you're going to come across scenarios where a parent component has multiple children components. But what is special is that all of those children components want to execute a common method or the same piece of logic. If we add that piece of code in every child component, we are duplicating the code and will be difficult to maintain that code in the future. So a common practice is to write that piece of logic or that piece of code in the parent component and all the children components ask the parent component to execute the logic. So in this video, let's take a look at a basic example where the child component wants to interact with the parent component and call a method that is defined in the parent component class. So open app.component.ts, which is the parent component class. And over here, let's define a new method. I'm going to call it greet. And it simply alerts, hello, Vishwas. Next, in the child component, I'm going to create a button that says greet. What we want to achieve is when I click on the greet button in the child component, I want to be able to send a message to the parent component, which then has to execute the greet method. So button tag called greet. And then let me add a click event handler. Call parent greet. Next in the class, let's define the method. So in the child component class, we're going to create a method called call parent greet. And for now, let's simply alert sending a message. If you go back to the browser and click on the button, we can see the alert box. So the method is getting called. Now from this method, we need to be able to send a message to the parent component to ask the parent component to execute the greet method. And the way we send those messages is using events from the event emitter class. We begin by creating a new property that is an instance of the event emitter class. So greet event is equal to new event emitter. Make sure to add it to the list of imports. Next in our call parent greet method, we are going to emit the event by calling the emit method. This dot greet event, let me correct the spelling. So greet event dot emit. And finally, to be able to send this event out of the child component, we decorate the property with output. So add output, then parentheses. Also make sure to import output. So what we are doing in the child component is listening to the button click event and then sending out a custom event called greet event. The parent component can now catch this event and execute any piece of code. So let me go back to the parent component template and within the child selector, just like how we bind to a click event, we can bind to our custom event. So our custom event is called greet event and when greet event is received by the parent, let's call the greet method. If we save this and go back to the browser, click on greet, 
you should see the alert message hello vishwas now let's say instead of hello vishwas i want the greeting to be hello followed by a name that is passed from the child to the parent we can achieve that by passing parameters with the emitted event so in the child component class let me create a new property let's call this name and this is going to be equal to code evolution and when we emit the event let's pass the name as a parameter so this dot name the parameter is received as the dollar event value of the event binding let's pass it on to the greet method so greet and within parentheses dollar event and let me modify the greet method to take into consideration the name parameter so greet is going to accept a name of type string and alert hello concatenated with the name now if i save this and go back to the browser click on the greet button it says hello code evolution so that is how a child component can communicate with the parent component using the event emitter class and the output decorator we can emit any custom event out to the parent in the parent component template on the child component selector we bind to that custom event and get a hold of dollar event for any passed in parameters and call the method we wish to execute which in our case is the greet method like i mentioned a lot of the times you will build applications where the child component emits an event and all the logic is handled in the parent component all right by now i hope you have a good understanding of component interaction when it comes to parent and child components thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe i'll see you guys in the next video